Hey everyone, welcome back to the Linux for Cybersecurity Students series here on CyberTutor. In today's episode, we're diving into SSH, also known as Secure Shell, a must-know tool for every aspiring cybersecurity professional. Whether you're managing servers, performing remote tasks, or auditing a system, SSH is one of your most powerful allies. So grab your notes and let's break down how SSH works, how to use it, and why it's so important in cybersecurity in a way that's easy to understand. SSH stands for Secure Shell. It's a protocol that allows you to securely access and control remote machines, usually servers, over a network. Think of it as a secure digital tunnel between your computer and another system, like a remote Linux server. Instead of logging in physically or through a risky method like Telnet, which sends data in plain text, SSH encrypts everything. Your login credentials, commands, and data, making it private and protected from prying eyes. Let's say you're connecting from your laptop to a remote Linux server. Your machine and the server go through a process called a handshake, where they exchange cryptographic keys to establish a secure encrypted session. Once verified, you're logged into the remote server's terminal as if you were sitting right in front of it. Now you can run commands, update files, check logs, or even perform security tasks, all securely from your own device. From a cybersecurity perspective, SSH is absolutely essential. Encryption, it keeps your login credentials and commands secure from eavesdropping. Authentication, you can use SSH keys instead of passwords for a more secure and automated login. Remote access, it allows you to manage systems without needing physical access, perfect for incident response, forensics, or cloud infrastructure. Logging and auditing, SSH sessions can be logged, making it easier to trace activity during an investigation. Hacker target. Since SSH is a common entry point, understanding how it works helps you better protect it, like using firewalls, disabling root login, and changing the default port. SSH can use two types of authentication, a username and password, which is simple but less secure, or public-private key pairs, where your computer stores a private key and the server has your public key. This method is safer and widely used in professional environments. And for advanced setups, SSH also supports multi-factor authentication, MFA, boosting security even more. If you're doing labs or ethical hacking training, SSH is your gateway to managing Kali Linux, vulnerable machines, or cloud servers, all from your own laptop. Learning SSH now will give you a massive advantage in penetration testing, blue team ops, cloud security, and beyond. And before we finish, we've just updated our CyberTutor website with a brand new resource page based on one of your awesome comments. It includes cheat sheets, Linux commands, SSH setup tips, and more. Perfect for students like you. Check the link in the description. Recap SSH stands for Secure Shell. It lets you securely connect to remote systems. It's encrypted, efficient, and essential for cybersecurity work. Learn it, use it, and secure it, because SSH is here to stay. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next video in the series. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay sharp, and stay cyber secure with CyberTutor.